Are you wondering what exactly you need to do? What you need to serve your clients in order to get them the results they, they require? I mean, you're wondering, so how exactly do you even coach people? This is a video you want to watch till the very end. Because in this video, I'll be sharing with you the fourth step to starting your coaching business in six easy steps. Are you ready? Let's do this. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tammy Ajivewa, aka the Electric Tammy, and the coach of coaches. So I've had three videos on the six steps to take to start your coaching business, and this is the fourth one. If you're yet to catch the previous three, please check the description and you will get the link to watch those videos. They've been so many aha moments light bulb moments breakthrough moments that viewers have experienced and i cannot wait for you to also experience same in this video if at the end of this video or even right now you feel like you're getting value from this video please leave me a comment Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel all right good so let's get straight to the fourth step of how to start your coaching business. The fourth step here is for you to design and validate your coaching process. Okay? Design and validate your coaching process. Now, what this means is that you have identified the people you want to work with. You have gotten niche in the message you want to share and the people you want to help and then now you're ready to help them what do you help them with how exactly do you help them what you want to do is to design and validate your coaching process so a lot of new coaches they just want to start coaching and then they are creating books creating ebooks writing books and launching webinars and so on and they ignore the fact that you can't be a coach unless you have a coaching program. I mean, think about it. Why would you call yourself a coach if not a coaching program? So that's where you want to pay attention to designing your own signature coaching process. And this means that you will check out where your clients are. Those you have identified as the people you want to help get really clear on where they are and then on where they want to be and then design a step-by-step -step process a step-by-step -step, you know strategy to move them from point a to point b all of this will form the body of coaching it will form the lessons what you will teach them it will form the tasks you will give to them it will form the uh, materials or the level of support you will give to them all because you are creating something with them in mind so it's not just you trying to slap some things together and say yeah I'm a coach I want to define this for you and no 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 you have your clients in mind and they're the ones that decide for you how you want to help them so you're clear on who they are you're clear on their stress on their hell in their on the hell they are in you're clear on the troubles they are facing you're clear on their pain points and then you're also clear on the on the on their desires on the heaven they want to go to and so you build a bridge you have to build a bridge you have to design something for them that you take them through from point a to point b that is the fourth step you must take if you're serious about starting your coaching business. It is not enough to just call yourself a coach. You must have a transformational coaching program. Something you can ask people to pay for. Something you can ask to collect premium price. Something you can, you, you can build in thousands of dollars. All because you have put it together to help them achieve massive transformation 
I hope this step makes sense to you. If you have questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments. And of course, leave me a comment on how much you've enjoyed this video, if at all. And if you're yet to get the rest of the series, you'd be missing out a lot. So go ahead now. Start to think about your client's pain points and also their desires and begin to map out the steps you take them through. Begin to map out the process you will carry them through to getting the best out of working with you. Thank you for watching this video. Do like, comment, share with your friends if you've gotten value from this. And I hope to see you in my next video. Take care and bye for now.